this is an eye repair video. Um, the point of this video is to help um, strengthen the cones and the lenses in the eye to rebuild um, the function of the eye. Uh, there are some certain patterns of movement that can be done, just like exercise, exactly like working out your bicep or working out your quads or whatnot. And um, if done regularly, uh, obviously take it slow at first so as to not cause overstraining, but um, if done regularly, will increase the strength of the eye. And by increasing the strength of the eye, um, all previous um, uh, problems will be repaired. It's, it's kind of like um, taking an atrophied muscle and working it out until it's no longer atrophied. Um, okay, so what I want you to do I just had some pieces of mango and I just burped. Um, <laughs> is to follow my hand. Okay, so I want you to focus on my two fingers. Focus your 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 vision as, as best as you possibly can on my fingers and then follow them. Don't move your neck, um, sit in a straight up posture, spine straight, and focus on the fingers. And I'm going to move my hand around and I want you to keep focusing on them. I'm going to change uh, the directions, I'm going to um, uh, do different depths so that you have to um, focus your, your cones better to pinpoint um, your vision. I'm going to help with all the muscles that hold everything together in your eye. Now after you watch this and you get a firm understanding of what needs to be done, have your family members do this because obviously um, doing it on a computer following me doing it isn't going to be the same. It has to be sporadic and always different patterns and always different movements so that the eye never um, gets accustomed to it. So it's exactly like nature. When you're in nature and you, you're in a big forested region and there's a bunch of different animals and you're looking down on the ground and you see a snake and you look up there and you see a bird and, and all these different movement patterns that um, are kind of conditioned out of us in this society because you know, we sit at home, watch TV, or we work in front of a computer all day, and we only look at a screen. We're not exercising our eyes enough, and therefore our vision is be deteriorating and deteriorating. And and uh, so, um, yes, if if you do this regularly, it is impossible for your eye to not get stronger. And if your eye is getting stronger, uh, it, it it'll repair itself. Um, so yes, I'm going to start doing some movements and follow along. Uh, you can do it obviously by scanning here, but the most important is that you understand the principle and are able to allow or to get your family members or those close to you to replicate the different patterns um, um, so that the, they can help with you. So basically, the, the basic pattern, the, the basic pattern is a cross, okay, with a circle around it. Okay, so it's a circle with a cross through it. Okay? And so what you want to do is you want to have the, your vision follow as far to its peripherals as you possibly can. So you have someone sit at a certain distance so that it goes to the edge of their peripherals, no, your peripherals, but you don't want to uh, move your neck and you don't want to do this. You want to just look as far over to one side as you can. See, like, I can still see my hand to your right, right to, I can still see my hand to there. I can still see it. So, so you, you want to extend your vision to its maximum. It's kind of like uh, filling up a balloon to its maximum and then letting it relax. And then filling a the balloon up to its maximum and letting it relax. That's going to that's gonna expand your ability to move all your muscles in all directions and use your eyes. So, so basically it's a circle with a cross in it. Okay? So you'd have them go in, in a counterclockwise, in a clockwise, Right? And you have them you have them go in any pattern that they feel. Okay? The one that I the a good one to start is a half of a turn to the center, down, half of a turn, back to the center, up, but half of a turn, and then reverse and do the other side too. So you're getting like a like a, this kind of a shape on both sides. So obviously I'm not making it properly, but it's a sideways infinity, I guess in a way you could say. Okay? And so you're when you do this you're building all these muscles and you're helping and then you can do like 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 the wide happy face mouth you know like so it's like across and down and you can have this you can make you can make them make you uh, have them just go like this back and forth 
and you'll just follow it with your eyes. Don't move your neck, keep yourself straight, keep your spine straight. Breathe deeply while you're doing this. This is actual, it's actually quite difficult for, for someone to do this because you're, you're using your eyes and all its muscles and something that most of us don't even remotely get close to in a day unless you live out in the forest and you're out in nature and you're always scanning and you're always looking all the birds and the different animals and you're paying attention. You, you, or I, you don't use your eyes like this. And so this pattern will help build you to use your eyes how they were meant to with your divine nature as like living in the garden, um, totally experiencing your reality around you with perfect pinpoint vision. And so, so you can have, have them do this, go up, and have them do many different patterns so that it's it, so that you, you so if I'm doing this for a while for you and you start to go up and down you start to go up and down and all of a sudden I go here and then here and then here and then back right so it's not going to be easy for you to follow this and it's not meant to be easy it's meant to be a workout it's meant to enhance uh, the function of your eye but just stick with it and so maybe start off with five maybe ten minutes twice three times a day and, and, and then build up to where you can do 10, 15, 20 minute sessions and um, be continual with this practice and, and you'll be surprised about how well your eyes will uh, repair themselves um, and if you need to you can smoke cannabis too um, to help you with your cataracts so um, that would definitely help, it'll help with the stabilizing effect of your eyes so that it's easier for you to um, hold your focus, right? And so just keep on practicing. Don't give up hope. Our eyes, our eyes and our whole entire body can all re be repaired. Degeneration um, can be nipped in the bud, so to speak, if we have proper movements to counteract it. It's like um, if you're gonna fall, right? If you're if you're gonna about to fall, if you adjust your weight and put down a new foundation, like boom, you found you put down a new leg to hold your weight. What it what happened? You didn't fall. You stopped. Right? And then you can go in a different direction. So this whole idea that degeneration is inevitable and that everything is bullshit. It's a bullshit idea. It's bullshit. It's not even remotely true for any of us where our body systems can totally be repaired and be in perfect, perfect, perfect health. The only reason why they're not in perfect health is because our, our movement patterns and our thinking patterns are a little off balance and a little off kilter. So therefore, of course, our body system follows suit to the way we express. So. Um, I hope that really helps. Uh, I know it will if you if you do it. So I love you. Have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing now. Um, and uh, please keep me informed. Uh, blessings.